Hi, it's Graham again from Spectrum and this is just another video in our training videos so you can get an idea of how things work. Today we're going to do stereopsis. Stereopsis is a very easy and useful test. Today us optometrists are faced with uh, patients coming in and they say they went to the movies and they couldn't see the 3D or they just bought a 3D TV and they don't know if they or any one of their uh, family members see the 3D as well as they do. So we have no way of measuring this. However, with Spectrum, you can actually now measure this. The first thing you need to do is have a look if in your Phoropter you have a red and a green filter. Some Phoropters only have two red filters. If you only have two red, most of the labs can fit a green one for you and the green one must be fitted to the left. The right one is red, RR, red for right. So make sure that your left filter is the green one. Call if you need any help, we can always arrange something for you should that be necessary. Now, let's have a look how this test is done. Firstly, the patient is shown the gross stereopsis slide, which is the star, and asked to report if he or she can see any particular shape within the square that appears to be standing away from the screen. Sometimes it takes a while and needs a little bit of coaxing for them to see the star. This is a yes or no situation. It is a qualitative test. Now, if the patient is able to see the star, then present either the blocks or disc pattern from the lower menu bar and ask the patient to report which block or disc appears to be receding or slightly dented inwards. It sometimes takes a while again for them to grasp the concept, may need a little bit of coaxing. Scroll through the screens using the mouse wheel or remote and note when the patient can no longer identify the receding block and record this result. The number in the top left of the screen is the stereopsis attained. This is accurately measured in seconds of arc which is calibrated to your room length that you entered on the setup screen. A drop in stereo acuity can indicate an imbalance in the refraction or also some early pathological changes. In children, early binocular anomalies are easily detected with stereo. Children are sometimes branded as clumsy. One kid in the class always seems to be clumsy. This child may have a stereopsis issue and it might need some investigation. This is also a very good test to motivate that patient, that under 40 year old patient who has a plus 150 in one eye and tells you he can see perfectly with each eye. Well, I promise you he will not have any stereopsis and this is a good way to motivate the fact that he does need his specs to see in stereo. Thanks for watching, more next time. Until then, stay connected via the LinkedIn community.